It's my pleasure now to introduce USC Provost Michael W. Quick to present Dr. Crandall the Extraordinary Achievement in Academics and Science Award. Provost Quick is himself a past recipient of the UKRO Extraordinary Achievement in Academic Leadership Award. It's an honor to have you here tonight. It's a rowdy crowd tonight. Good to see you all. Thank you for coming out. Thanks to Phil Palmer. Um, I know they're long days, my friend, and, and thank you for, for all you do, and thank you for all uh, uh, that you do on behalf of UKRO. Um, Ken Kleinberg, couldn't be done without you, my friend, and so uh, congratulations to you. This is what you've created, and, and I'm so proud of UKRO, and it's all because of your hard work, Ken, so thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I want to congratulate uh, the other honorees, uh, Bob Bradway, um, Peter Devereaux, um, but, um, but I get the great honor of uh, introducing the recipient of the Extraordinary Achievement in Academics and Science Award. Uh, I won that award, as Phil mentioned, uh, last time. Uh, that's not to diminish <laughs> this award in any way. Everyone makes a mistake. Um, and I was so honored to win that award, but I'm more honored this evening to present uh, the award um, to our 2017 recipient, uh, which you saw all about, uh, Dr. Ed Crandall, the Hastings Professor of Medicine and the Norris Chair of the Department of Medicine at the University of Southern California. Um, as you saw, Ed uh, received his undergraduate degree at uh, Cooper Union, um, his PhD in chemical engineering at Northwestern, um, and his MD from the University of, of, of Pennsylvania. Um, and then he spent a lot of time uh, uh, moving through the ranks at Notre Dame, um, uh, at uh, the University of Pennsylvania, UCLA, and Cornell. The guy cannot keep a job. Um, <laughs> but we were so lucky to get him at the University of Southern California. Um, he's a true, you know, we, we, we often say in, in the medical fields, a uh, bench to bedside, meaning research to clinical care, and, and Ed is truly one of the bench to bedside guys. Um, somebody who, who has spent uh, years um, on the bench making phenomenal advances in the field of lung research, um, but also uh, spent time in the clinics uh, taking care of patients and understanding what it really means uh, for a patient, for a family, um, and, and what the medical field is, is really all about. He's been the chair of USC's Department of Medicine for over 20 years, um, and uh, he's been at the front lines of delivering great care, both at the County Hospital of USC and at Keck's uh, Medical Center. Um, he is a, an elected uh, member of the American Society of Clinical Investigation. He's on the editorial board of, of a number of journals and the recipient of a very prestigious award from the NIH, which is called a Merit Award, which really recognizes the top in research. Um, more importantly, crucial to the mission of our kidney program at USC, He's been a tremendous advocate for UKRO um, and for the importance of basic research on kidneys and also on uh, the clinical care related to kidney disease. Um, and as I think you saw in the, in the, in the video, um, you know, he's a tremendous thinker about health care and where health care is going in this country and what it is going to take to train the next generation of caregivers um, so that we are all taken care of uh, in the future. To me personally, he's been a, an amazing mentor. Um, uh, you know, I'm the provost of the University of Southern California. Um, the joke about provosts is um, we're like the guy at the cemetery who mows the lawn. We have many, many people underneath us. N nobody gives a damn what we have to say. Um, but it also means we have to understand everything from the arts to the humanities to medicine. And without 
Ed's leadership and mentorship, um, I would not be in the position I am to help lead the university forward in understanding uh, where we're going uh, in medical care. And so uh, I am uh, so honored um, to give this award tonight uh, to Ed Crandall, um, who is so deserving uh, of this. Frankly, not just because of his mentorship, not just because of his research, not just because of his clinical care and his administrative acumen. He's just a hell of a nice guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to give the award for extraordinary achievement in academics and science to Professor Edward Crandall. Before I begin my remarks, let me just say that I never realized how much I acted like Woody Allen. I think I had to see myself on film to recognize that, but I have a feeling it has something to do with the fact that we both grew up in Brooklyn at the right time, at the right time at least. So just a few remarks. So let me start by saying, dear friends, family, and colleagues, I'm greatly appreciative of tonight's recognition and honor what UKRO deems extraordinary achievement in academics and science. Over these last 20 years, I've seen USC undergo an extraordinary transformation, particularly in the health and life sciences. Both the clinical and research enterprises have grown greatly in structure and size, and our medical education continues to be innovative and world class. I'm proud of the Department of Medicine's contributions to these accomplishments. Some years ago, based on his personal experience, Ken Kleinberg recognized there were gaps in kidney research and set out to help solve that problem by founding UKRO. Ken, Vito Campisi, who was then our chief of nephrology, and I worked hard to arrange for UKRO and the Department of Medicine to partner in the creation of a unique program, the USC UKRO Kidney Research Center now led by Professor Ken Hallows. The USC UKRO Kidney Center, Kidney Research Center, helps fill the gaps in both clinical investigation and cutting edge basic research. And I'm pleased to have been part of its evolution. Many individuals have contributed to our current stable, strong, and relatively happy Department of Medicine at the Keck School of Medicine. <laughs> I'm glad you caught that. Um, <laughs> Other colleagues, have worked, other colleagues of mine have worked mightily together to sustain the hugely successful USC Will Rogers Institute Pulmonary Research Center, grow the USC Whittier Nanobiotechnology Initiative, and create the new Hastings Center for Pulmonary Research led by Dr. Zia Borak. All have played major roles in my highly satisfying and ongoing research career. Unfortunately, too many important collaborators and supporters are here tonight for me to name them individually, but they should know how grateful I am for all their hard work and spirit of partnership. I recognize that any leader, in order to be successful, must have followers for whom he or she works. Accomplishing a vision requires commitment, compromise, and perseverance, and my colleagues fervently share those qualities. Most of all, success depends on everyone working together in an environment of principles and integrity. In this regard, as the great Will Rogers once said, call me a rube and a hick, but I'd rather be the man who bought the Brooklyn Bridge than the man who sold it. Think about that. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm especially grateful for the presence tonight of my daughter Rebecca, friend Sean, son Josh, daughter-in-law Kate, granddaughter Alexa, grandson Zach, and especially my wife Lynn, for 55 great years and counting. Yeah. 
55 great years and counting, filled with love, excitement, fun, and growth. That's exactly what a marriage should be. I thank all of you for being here tonight to celebrate my co-honorees, Bob Bradway and Peter Devereaux, and me, as well as the remarkable University Kidney Research Organization. Thank you.